Okay, so gas, gas extraction is at 14 years minimum right now. 14 years minimum. Uh, in July, uh, Gazprom has, um, has uh, created, well, yeah, pumped basically 36% less gas than the year before. 36% less. That's that's like what this is like six months, not even six months in the, into the war, and this is not even all the major um, countries banning or like refusing to buy Russian Russian gas. A lot of them still buy it, and it's already thirty six percent less. By the end of this year, it's going to be probably close to sixty percent. Why is it important? It's important, obviously, because Russia is getting a lot of money from gas and oil. A lot of money. A lot of exports is gas and oil. Simple as that. Export in July is just 6 of Gazprom, which is the national operator. It's just 6.4 billion cubic meters. And uh, it's 58. Well, this is already, okay, this is already 60% less than a year ago. So we're already there, 60% less in July, right? Um, that's quite insane. And this this is exactly why, why I was talking before, that Europe has created a Russia problem or more specifically Putin problem because they were so dependent on Russian, cheap Russian, relatively cheap Russian gas and oil. Now they're paying for that dependency with quite high inflation. Once again, 10-15% inflation. Um, if it's 10% inflation, every Belarus would say, please lift me up from Belarus and put me in Germany. We're going to be fine. 10% is like, wow, it was a good year if it's a 10% inflation here. Seriously. But for Russia, this is gonna this is gonna mean a lot. This is really gonna mean a lot. Like think about think about it, right? Like there's gonna be ninety percent um, ban on oil in December, I think. So even prior to that, probably more companies will will be trying already to now they now they're probably trying to pump their the reserves and and try to buy as much oil as they can. And closer to closer to December, they're gonna ease off and um, completely, or, or, yeah, or completely or almost completely ban buying of oil. And uh, Russia, in its Putin, basically, in its infinite wisdom, giant air quotes here, has decided that he's gonna teach Europe uh, for their support of Ukraine by basically shooting not only in one leg but then in another as well when he decided that Gazprom will voluntarily on their own actually cut the the uh the transfer of gas up to up to only 20% of of the whole power of the north nord stream that's yeah that's quite that's quite something <laughs> there is this meme <laughs> there is this meme oh my god can i find it right now oh my god there is this meme on twitter um of ukrainian soldier saying we're so lucky that they're so fucking stupid which is like <laughs> this is this one okay this one is it did they say anything? Кожного разу, коли ми спілкуємося з нашими захисниками, стало традицією чути від них. Кової майстерності. Нам кажеться, що не дуже повезло, на ту перелі. I'm just like I've seen this as as this like picture like we're we're very lucky they're so fucking stupid. I haven't seen the video actually. А чому їх тут справляють? Ви сколько він нах? Літають над нами. 
и пиздует хуй знает куда. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen. I just. Ну, кажется, seen, дуже... I have seen just this like picture. It's just this meme. <laughs> just this one, like. Yeah, just this one. <laughs> We're very lucky. They're so fucking stupid. This I need to save this. This is exactly. Where's this save image? <laughs> Anyway, listen, okay, whatever, I can do this later. Uh, I'm just saying that, uh, yeah, the the whole world is so lucky that Russians are so fucking stupid. This is really true. And uh, obviously the fucking Putin is, is one of those absolutely branded cunts who, who thinks that he's gonna, like, um, freeze somehow Europe to death because he's not gonna give them gas. Like, dude, Europe is gonna survive. Maybe it's gonna be tough one year um maybe it's gonna be even tough two years on the third year nobody ever will ever ever think of russia as a energy supplier never i i don't think i don't think this can especially if this winter will be really bad for um people in europe because of the lack of gas i think they will never forget it in at least in the next like five years they will always remember what russia has done to them and i, I don't think like any politician who will be um trying ever again to basically um to basically play these games with putin or if putin dies or whatever with any russian cunts like we're gonna be basically russia is never gonna be a, a supplier of energy to europe not a major one not a reliable one. Nobody should treat them like that, and I hope nobody will. Not in the next, like, fucking decade. That's for sure.